welcome to the first episode of Prehistoric. This dinosaur, Albertosaurus, is wandering around. It is dry and it is a dry season. It's a big drought and he needs to find water immediately. He's looking around everywhere, but he can't find nothing. He can't even find little mammals. <laughs> He's a herbivore though. Little mammals help him navigate. They usually go where water is. He's looking for some lovely plants to eat. The plants around him are poisonous, so we cannot eat them. He's in very much danger of dying of drought. But let's not say he's in danger yet, because something even more dangerous is coming to eat him. This is a T-Rex wandering through the vegetated small tree forest. He's hungry for meat. Then he swats the dinosaur in the distance. He's hungry, so he will want to eat this dinosaur. He slowly marches, then charges. The other dinosaur doesn't suspect a thing. He's running as fast as he can over to the plant eater. The plant eater, herbivore Albertosaurus, still doesn't suspect anything. He tries to strike, but then the plant eater quickly gets up and jumps out the way. He ends up in a dry place with all dirt in his mouth. He's shaking his head and trying to get the dirt off him where it's so annoying. He's rubbing himself everywhere. The Albertosaurus quickly runs away. He's in the small tree forest now so he can eat. Pulling up the grass, he slowly munches. It's been a good win for him. Nobody ate him. He's now lovely grass to eat, as well as the small trees. He's happy. And he might be happy forever. The other T-Rex, on the other hand, is slowly marching away. He doesn't know when he'll get something to eat. Then, he swaps a giant insect, a spider. He quickly charges towards it and tries to eat it. He fails though, since he does not like fuss spiders. The Albertosaurus is now in a moister condition, but cannot find any water at all. He needs to find some soon or he'll die of drought. No carnivores are around this area. He looks to be fine, but he won't when he finds out what's after him. That's right, T-Rex is back and he is hungry for more. He starts wandering to the river where the Albertosaurus will be arriving shortly. He wanders off through the small tree forest, dashing past everything. He'll be soon at the river or the Albertosaurus will be as well. The Albertosaurus has finally made it to a place where there's not a river, but a fountain. It pours on him. He gets drenched and he drinks quickly. As he slowly drinks into the... This is gone in a couple of seconds and he only gets a little bit of drink. The drought seasons are really hard. That's why the fountains only go on for a little bit. Luckily, this dinosaur only needs a little bit of water and he wanders back, back to eat some more vegetation. Vegetation also gives him water. T-Rex is ready to strike. He hides down in the bushes. And he strikes! It looks like the Albertosaurus is dead. It's all over for him. Now, the only thing left for him to do is eat him. The Albertosaurus tried so hard to survive. But in prehistoric, everything with dinosaurs is mayhem. 
as he eats the Albertosaurus, crunching away. When he's finished, he walks away, lovely and fat. It's not a he, it's actually a she. You can tell by the pinkness. She's ready to lay her eggs. She has returned to her nest, laying her last egg. They will be ready to hatch in a couple of months. They will only feed on yolk. But once they're babies, baby T-Rexes are in much danger. That's why the mother must keep next to them at all times once they hatch. The mother has been feeding on this. Well, used to be. She has eaten it all to the skeleton. Bones now, so there's no more of that. We will see you next time when we find out if the mother's babies can survive even scavengers hunting the eggs. For now, see you later.